All right, so this is an example on um, body plot. I have been wanting to do one on body plot, uh, and so I have been getting questions on that as well. So uh, I would start videos on that. So this is an easy one. So I want to start with the easy one so you sort of understand how we build these. So when you go to an exam, you sort of understand like the steps to take. I mean, it's not really that bad. You just have to follow rules, I guess, if you will. So typically in the exam, though, they give you something like this, where uh, they give you a transfer function for you to identify the right uh, sort of right plot, or the other way around. They give you a plot and they ask you questions about it, like whether or not to find the constant gain or to find the uh, uh, you know right transfer function, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're going to go through all of that so that you understand. Um, we're going to go through. Uh, the possibilities, I guess, if you will. So this is a fairly easy one, but I'm gonna start with that, so you sort of know, you know, how to how to build one at least the easy ones. So the first rule, I wrote the rules over here, so you sort of know, um, you know, the steps to take in order to build one, to draw a, a plot. So the number one rule is to make sure that you have all ones, uh, you know, in your uh, uh, function, I guess. So, in your poles and your zeros. So these are your poles at the bottom, and over here you have your ones. But you need to make sure that you factor out to the point where you have s plus one. So you can have anything here, but here you have to have a one. So first, that's what we need to do. So we're gonna have to simplify, factor out the ten, in order to have a one over there. So the the numerator is fine. The denominator we take s out. It's sort of like, you know, just factoring out. So we divide by 10 here, plus 1. Okay? So we simplify this. Therefore, we have s plus 1, s plus 10, uh, I mean s over 10, plus 1. Ooh, what did I do? Okay? So your poles are the denominators. Your zeros are your numerator. So you basically find the corner frequencies. Your corner frequencies are always 1 over whatever you have at the S. So we'll have the poles would we'll have that um, this is 1 over 110 so this is 10. You have a 0 at only one zero at 1 here because it's 1 over 1. So it's just 1. So yeah, it's just 1, whatever. Let's say, let's call this, yeah, we don't have to call it anything. It's just 1. And again, this is a fairly easy one, but I wanted to start with this one. Alright, so you have a pole at 10. What did we say about a pole? You have a negative slope, and the zero is a positive slope of 20 dB. Your constant gain is 20 log of k. Here, we don't have a gain, uh, we do, but it's 1. So log of 1 is 0, so we don't really have anything. So we're going to start at 0, as actually, when we draw this. So 20 log of 1, if you will, is a 0. So we have 0 dB. Okay? So unless you have a um, pole at the origin, you know, we're going to do an example on that, like S here, the plot will start at the constant gain. So the constant, so you, the, the, the idea behind the, the plot is that you would start drawing until you hit the corner frequency and then you apply the, the slope whether or not you add or subtract it depends on whether or not you, you the corner frequency that you're hitting is a pole or a zero. Okay, so since we don't have any pole at the origin, and our constant gain start at zero dB, so we're going to start at zero until we hit the first corner frequency. So we do have two corner frequencies here. One zero at one. and a pole at 10. 
and again a pole is what is a negative slope at minus 20 db always and zero is positive db now i'm going to show you the trick because i've seen uh, different ways to do it where you actually add the slopes etc at the end and then you find the final plot but i think that's kind of confusing so if you do it this way it's a lot easier i think okay so constant gain you start at your constant gain your constant gain is zero db so you draw until you hit the first corner frequency so we do have two corner frequencies here one let me put put it that way and a 10 so you start drawing your constant gain zero db until you hit the first corner frequency and then you stop there so at one what do you have at one at one it's a zero so it's a positive slope so you're going to draw a 20 db slope until you hit the next corner frequency so i have a negative i mean a positive slope of 20 db until i hit the next corner frequency i'm hitting the next corner frequency at 10 here so this is a positive uh, 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 this is a pole at 1 you have a 0 is a positive db so this is a plus positive db all right okay so at 10 what do we have at 10 at 10 i have a zero, uh, i have a pole a pole is what negative with minus db so you add the previous slope you're not going to go down to anything cuz you have to add the previous slope So, because at zero, I have, I mean at 10, I have a negative slope. The neg negative slope is minus 20 dB. I add minus plus 20 dB is zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a zero slope, zero dB slope. I don't have any more, so this is plus 20 minus 20 basically db you don't have to put it here but i'm just putting it there so you know so we do have two corner frequencies here so the key word here is to understand wh what do you have to add and what do you not so this is your key this is this is your trick part i guess your tips if you will this thing once you know this that's it you can draw any 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 body plot your pole is negative minus 20 db zero positive plus db i have a one here corner frequencies i start with my constant gain of zero db i hit my first corner frequency at one um, at that corner frequency what do i have i have a zero what do i do with a zero positive slope 20 slope that's it because previously th this was a zero db so 20 plus zero is is is, um, is 20 anyway so you start drawing that until you hit the next corner frequency. At 10, what do I have? A pole. What do I do with a pole? It's a negative slope of negative 20. But you don't go down with a negative 20 dB. What do you do is you add the previous slope. So minus 20 plus 20 is 0. So you keep going. That's how you do it, basically. So you can keep going on and on and on and whatever, depending on if you have a 0 or if you have a pole. And that's about it for our first example. You see, it's not really that bad once you just, you know, understand everything. All right?